Create a landscape area. You've now learned how to place individual plants into a scheme and to place them in groups using classes and plant styles to change their display options. But what if you wanted to plant a larger area or a standard mix of plants? The plant tool is not ideal for this as it would be very laborious to have to place each individual plant. Instead, Vectorworks offers the landscape area the landscape area uses the same plant definitions as the plant tool, so you'll need to set up the plants as before, but it enables you to mix them by percentage at specific planting rates. It's ideal for larger areas, bulb mixes, wildflower mixes and much more. In this exercise you'll use a ready-made landscape area, examine its settings and then learn to create your own. Explore a landscape area. Return to Top Plan using either the View Standard Views Top Plan menu command or the Standard Views menu on the view bar. Using the navigation palette, make Green Roof Planting the active layer. Change Layer Options to Grey Snap Others. On top of the roof structure that you created in the Hard Landscaping section, you will find a green rectangle with a tag on it. With the Selection tool, Click on the rectangle to select it. Look at the landscape area tag. This area contains five plant species, 20% of each. The name of the area is shown at the top. Look at the object info palette. This object is not in fact a rectangle, but a landscape area. The landscape area has a Z elevation, or position in 3D space. Click the Layers button. The green roof planting layer has a Z elevation of zero. Click OK to dismiss the dialog. The Z elevation of the landscape area is relative to zero. Elements on the planting and hard landscaping layers are relative to their Z elevation of minus 650 millimeters. The landscape area will sit on top of the roof structure. On the Object Info palette, click on the Landscape Area Settings button to open the Landscape Area Settings dialog. Take a look at the settings. This landscape area has a name that appears in its tag. The tag is on, but needs a separate class so that it can be controlled independently. Make the following changes. Tag Class, Landscape Area, Tags. Tag Header, Name, Area. Tag Body, Percentage, Latin Name. Area Units, choose the most appropriate for your geography. Border Style, Plant Line. Click OK. The tag now displays the area of the object as well as the name the border is now a pretty wiggly plant line. Look at the object info palette. The landscape area is a member of the landscape area main class. Click on the classes button on the view bar to open the organization dialog. Click on the landscape area main class and then click edit. Notice the fill style is set to gradient and a green gradient has been selected. The pen is a solid pale brown. Click OK and then click OK again to return to the drawing area. Change your view to left isometric. Notice that the plants are showing as image props like the other plants in the scheme. Remember, if you don't have Renderworks, there will be no image props in the scene. On the object info palette, Click on Landscape Area Settings again. Change the following. 3D Display, 3D Poly. Click OK. The 3D plants are now hidden and replaced with a flat 3D plane. Click Landscape Area Settings again and return the setting to 3D plants. Click OK. The texture bed option for the 3D display is for working with a site model which is beyond the scope of this getting started guide. Create a new landscape area. Return to top plan view. Using the navigation palette, make landscape area main 
the active class. From the site planning tool set, click on the landscape area tool and then click on the landscape area tool preferences button on the toolbar. Adjust the following settings. Name, mixed planting. Tag display, on. Tag class, landscape area tags. Tag header, name area. Tag body, percentage Latin name. Area units, square meters or feet, whichever is appropriate for you. 3D display, 3D plants, border style plant line. Now you'll add plants to the area. There are three different ways that plant quantities can be calculated. In this case, we'll have control over the percentage of the area that each plant will cover and the planting rate for each plant. Select Plant Information, Distribution Rate, Custom Coverage Percentage. To add plants to the area, click Add and complete the Edit Plant Information dialog as follows. Show plants from following file, click Current Document. Plant, Nifofia uvaria, rate 7 per square metre, percentage 30, click OK. Repeat the process, adding the following plants and settings. Plant symbol, Darmera peltata, rate 5 per square metre, percentage 20. Plant symbol, Cornus alba siberica, rate 1 per square metre, percentage 10. Plant symbol, Persicaria affinis superba, rate 5 per square metre, percentage 30. Plant symbol, Carex elata aurea, Rate 5 per square metre, percentage 20. Click OK to close the Landscape Area Settings dialog. Note that like the Hardscape tool, the Landscape Area tool has all the same drawing functions as the Polyline tool, which enables you to draw complex shapes by changing modes as you draw. Move the cursor to the front garden. On the toolbar, choose Point on Arc mode and start to draw an arc around the centre of the tree, change to Corner Vertex mode and complete a shape for the front planting bed similar to this one. Remember you can use the K key on your keyboard to close the shape. Make planting the active layer using the navigation palette. Click the selection tool Select the Acer. On the Object Info palette, change its layer to Green Roof Planting. The tree moves to the layer and displays above the landscape area. It has also associated itself with the elevation of the new layer, thus bringing it to the level of the house and the front landscape area. Change layer options to Show Snap Others. Change the view to right isometric and confirm that the tree is at the same level as the front garden. Return to top plan view.